or something that they're not. Uh, be a little open-minded to a certain degree, I, th I think it can go a long ways. Good advice. I think we have time for one more question from Fayetteville. Go ahead. I don't think that was a question. In fact, I think it was unintelligible. Did anybody I get it? didn't make it out. Uh, let's see. Before we go to our sport video, let's just see who's out there because I don't know. <laughs> You're on. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. Um, actually, I've, I've done some work for Inhofe. Can you believe that? You're on. Can I help you? Yeah, I want to know if you've got my booster. You're on. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, Sam. Um... Okay, real quickly, we have one last caller on the line from Fayetteville. Go ahead. You're on Hog Talk. This is Paul. I didn't, I didn't catch that. <laughs> yes, you certainly could. <laughs> You're on, can I help you? I'm only three feet tall, generally speaking. He's only three feet tall and what? I don't know. I don't know. Well, just cinch it up and order a bigger drink. You're on, can I help you? He needed to put his teeth in, Sam. Well, I'm afraid he'd left him somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try Fayetteville. Go ahead, please. Well, the full moon drive me crazy. Well, there is a there there is a living uh, proof yeah, right, that's right there. Yep, moon's having an effect. <laughs> the moon is having an effect. You know, can I help you? Yeah, I really love the show, but uh, my butt is really dirty. I can imagine. You're on. Can I help you? All right, our first caller is from Alma. Go ahead. Huh? I'm sorry, Fayetteville. Go ahead. Yeah, I built my car out of dog poop. I built my car out of something, an intelligent question. No, that wasn't even a question. <laughs> no, it was an he, I can't even statement. answer that. No. Well, let me hey. ask you this. Bye-bye. Okay, All right, you're on. Can I help you? I eat poop. Party poop? On. Can I help you? Yeah, you remember the chicken story in Fort Smith that you talked about a while back? About oh, the gosh. chickens roaming around free? I remember... Gosh, there was a chicken story that I, I, we had about Fort Smith. Help me out with it. Okay, well, I don't have anything against chickens. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I just sort of figure if an egg can fit up there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. You can tell when they go to panting. <laughs> you know. Did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well... Okay, let's go to uh, Tawny Town next. Go ahead. Big old needle up my butt. Did you catch that? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't hear what he said. Uh, okay, we have another call. Hi, you're on the air. You have a question for us? Yeah, I want to know what you think of the doctor, the Bob. The doctor, the Bob. Have you heard of it? No. No. Well, it's new in town, and it's a. Uh, uh, there's only Bob members, and I just wanted to know if you'd heard of it. The Dark or the Bob? No, I haven't. No. Sorry. You have no comment on it, then? Uh, no, since somebody's heard of it. Maybe if you call after the show and tell us more about the book. Oh, I will. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you around. Thank you. Yeah, Sam. Bye-bye. Uh, You're on. Can I help you? Yeah, hello. I'd like to know your opinion on poop. Poop? Yeah. Well, it depends. If it's fresh, you shouldn't kick it, and if it's dry, get a scoop. Uh, can I You're on, can I help you? You're saying, but the numbers are frightening. You're on, can I help uh, What do you think about urine? Uh, in what? No, drinking it. Oh, no, man. No? Yeah. Bad for the bad for the throat and change like the color of your though. toenails, you know what I mean? Don't love me. You're on, can I help you? Hello? You're on. Hello, Sam, how you... I know you, Oakham Hall. Now, can you see this? They didn't think I'd put this on. But I'll show you. There's Sam. And it says, these are homemade out of Yoakum Hall. <laughs> University of Arkansas. Dear Sam, Merry Christmas. You make me so happy, I might just burst into chunks. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> Love me, John. <laughs> then there's more. Parroting skills wasted. Here's another one. Yes, there is Sonny. Oh, great. Got it? Okay. Sonny, Merry Christmas, my love monkey. You play good music on your piano when I like music. You laugh hoarse. Take a cough drop. See you, pal. John. 
<laughs> you know, I bet they believe in swordfish too. I bet, I bet they do. The pointed end. <laughs> yeah, well, it's good to know that there's still activity in the parking lot of the uh, football stadium on Saturday nights, I, and we have proof of it right here. I know that story, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss the days of Johnny Martin, the late Johnny Martin on KRMG, remember? Yes, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I do. Uh, we'll talk about that somewhere. I don't mean it. What we're talking about, you used to be able to listen to Johnny Martin when you were dating at Fayetteville, you know. He was a class act. He was. We're out of time. Thank you for being a... Diarrhea. What time does, what time does uh, Rush come on? <laughs> At 10 o'clock. That's for you, buckhole. Already got his nose in the glue. I heard him. He's already he got his nose in the glue, time. and he's gone. He's gone. Now, now that, that, that's an example of what happens when you follow people like the demagogue on the ABC affiliate. Pardon me? We go to John now in Fayetteville. You're on the line. I don't have no money. Where can I get money? No, because I don't have any at all. You know, like mom. Well, of course, uh, you know, I, I just only caught the, the first part of that, but I, I presume your question was where can you get some money? Well, you know, go to work. I guess hopefully you're already doing that, but um, I don't know if you're serious or not. I think he was not, asking so. to get some credit. How you some get credit? credit? Okay. I couldn't understand okay. what he said. Well, we, we cut the first part yeah. off there, I think. But I, the way to get credit, of course, and that is if you... you know, Let's see who or what is out there. You're on. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to talk about the Internet. <clears throat> Okay. I think that the people on the internet are basically mean people. They pick on other people that get on the internet and they use a lot of foul language. And I think it ought to be gotten rid of entirely because I don't like it at all. I don't like the people on there. Mm -hmm. They're mean people. And they, when I went on the internet, I didn't know what I was doing. They treated me like dirt. You know what I mean? No. You don't know what I mean? Well, I, <sighs> you know, they're just mean people. You, uh, I don't like mean people, and they're just, they treated me bad, okay? I understand. I've been treated bad. But, I mean, all of them. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. You're, you're not alone, obviously. Do you live alone? No. Yeah. Well, I hope life gets a little better for you. I don't think it will, but... Well, you know... <laughs> if, as long as I keep away from the Internet, I think I'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you need to hang up that sign that Lucy used to have in peanuts, you know, psychotherapy, five cents. Now, here's a guy, clearly, you know, I can hear people in the background giggling. I can hear that. No, that was us. No, I heard. <laughs> I heard. Oh, did you? In the room, somebody laughed. I mean, the guy, I thought, first, the guy had a problem with the Internet. I don't know if anybody's got a problem with the Internet, unless... Maybe he didn't have your computer on. Sometimes that can make you feel left out. <laughs> what a, is this, is this going to be National Dweeb Night? Is that Cause just because I don't like football, people are going to call me dweebish. I'll be nice, though. I'll be nice. Watch. I have a caller from Fayetteville. Go ahead, Fayetteville. Yeah. Um, <coughs> hello? Yes. Yeah, if you perform the Heimlich maneuver or whatever, do you um, go to heaven? I think that was a uh, some, that? somewhat facetious uh, phone call, but actually not a bad one. I mean, he's saying uh, if you save someone's life. Well, hopefully, if you perform the Heimlich maneuver, the rescue's successful, and no one's going to go to heaven at that point. <laughs> Nancy, do you weather? Yeah. Well, we've got somebody in Fayetteville that wants to talk to you, Jay. Hello, uh, Fayetteville. Yeah, um, what do you think would happen if it um, rained urine? Yes. If it rained during? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that one. What would happen if it rained during? Well, you know, uh, what I wanted to ask you about, Jay, yeah. is uh, Monday fall. you're on the line. Yeah, what do you think about all the... Um, hello? Go ahead. Yeah, what do you We're think here. about all the um, inbred people we have around here? I'm sorry? I think that was a facetious comment. What I about I love, our I Kansans? Love, I love coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it great? Isn't it great? What about our Kansans? I also remember. Can I help you? The other night you weren't on the air, and I was all alone, and I had nothing to do, and no TV to watch because right, right, Rush right. Limbo was on. Just relax. Just relax. Put your hands on the screen. Okay. Just put them on top of mine. Now, is that better? Yeah. I feel love in the studio tonight. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's, it's all right. Good night. Yeah, it's Wednesday night. <laughs> We're gonna get them tonight, Joe. And that wasn't a put on. Oh, That's the frightening thing about it. <laughs> just, that guy just discovered that after three weeks, the seat on his Harley's missing. <laughs> I am. Alan's on the line. Alan, you're there. Yeah, I'm bugged by the inbred monsters that live down here where I am in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> They're both inbred and monstrous. I don't know how to deal with them. I'm bugged by them. Alan, how long have you lived in Arkansas for? Too long. How long is that? Only a year. Only. <laughs> <laughs> what made you move down there? I don't know. <laughs> but I can't get out of here. <laughs> but it's inexpensive down there, though, right? With the uh, the inbreds and the monsters? Well, uh, maybe. Kind of, yeah. Now, you don't walk around with signs like to say, hey, all you people, you're inbred and you're monsters. <laughs> well, no, but... Do you have any friends? <laughs> uh, no. I guess that's why you're watching this show, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but they're just all inbred, and I don't... I don't know how to well, do it. Well, it's scary when, it's, when somebody's inbred and they got a gun, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, it's a scary thing. Well, they give guns away down there with cereal, don't they? Well, yeah, you can, you can carry conceal, concealed weapons, apparently. So. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think in, uh, like, uh, Cheerios now, it's a free gun in Arkansas if you buy <laughs> Cheerios. Well, I think you, if you don't own a gun, they beat you up. Mine, well, apparently so. Well, Alan, I wish you the best of luck. And uh, to all the people in Arkansas, Alan represents his own point of view. But anyway, Alan, thanks for calling, buddy. Bye-bye, Peter. Man. You betcha. Bye-bye what, man? What do you say? Bye-bye what? Peter Man? Peter. Is that what you call me? Yeah, you're Peter Man Peter now. Man. Hi, I am Peter Man. I shall not Peter out. I shall continue the show for a full hour. I will not Peter out. I am not Peter Man. Jasmine's on the left. But we'll uh, talk about those in a moment. Let's go to Fayetteville. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I want to know what I can do about them carpetbaggers stealing my taters. I don't know anything about carpetbaggers, but... Just don't let them in your yard to dig them up. Uh, your geranium... Uh, very pretty. ...to deal with Arkansas's 40 minutes of hell. Okay, we are going to go back to the phone lines. We have a caller on the line from Fayetteville. Go ahead. Hello? My You're name's on. Zom, Zom, Zom. I'm Foo Foo Paul. I'm a leprechaun. I'm right... <laughs> okay. Well, that's nice to know. Is that is that good news or what? I'm not sure. All right, let's go back to the Bud Walton Arena. What's your name, bud? 